Hey everyone, welcome back to Big Outdoors. If you're new here, my name is Sheldon Marion, and today we're loading up the truck with the dogs. We're gonna go on a chicken hunt. Well, we got that one. We better go pick him up before we <laughs> forget where he went. That one went right here to this spruce tree. Run over. We'll keep our eye over there as we're walking over here. There's my chicken. There we go. There's one anyways. There's a few more over in here somewhere. They're so dark when they land in these spruce trees they just kind of disappear but we'll walk over there anyways. I know there's a few more <laughs> in here. There's probably eight or nine on the road. We got this one three or four flew away now so there should be a couple more if there's not one in this tree right here there might be one in the little patch patch of trees over there if not there's for sure a couple right over here so we can walk through here and uh, check her out anyways no oh, yeah Wow, when he flew off, he was in that branch right there. But, yeah, man, it's so thick in here. Can't really see them until they fly. At least I know roughly where he went. We can keep chasing him. If they just went back into here somewhere. I don't know how I got that bird, but I got him. Holy cow. <laughs> got that one by his feet. Oh, that was a direct headshot too. That is actually pretty impressive. There's a few more birds that flew into this area here but I don't know we got two already so maybe we'll call that good enough there was you know like there was eight or nine out on the road there but uh, I want to say probably four have flown away and we shot two. There might be one in a branch right there. But I, ah, he's not moving. No, that's just branches. But uh, 
Yeah, maybe we'll call her good on two and uh we'll get out of here it's pretty thick stuff in here anyway so it's uh a bit hard walking but whatever at least we made it uh made it work on a couple we're not going hungry tonight <laughs> all righty let's keep going All right, I said, I said we were gonna leave, but uh, I can hear one right here. He's somewhere right, right here. And then there's another one back up in this tree where I just got that other one. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some more bullets in the magazine and see if i can't find this guy first if i can't find him we'll go after this oh i actually see him right there hold on a second <laughs> we got him bird number three you little bugger quit that put those ones down grab him by his feet there we go okay now we got one more in here that we can go after uh, that might be him right there actually Quit that. I think that is him. What's funny is that there's that, there's a raven flying around here. Every time he comes by, these chickens start to kind of chirp. So not only chirping because of me, they're also chirping because of that raven. So maybe when I get back to the truck, I'll help that raven out. I'll clean the chickens up. Out on the road and I'll leave him something to eat. Might cut her losses on this one. I don't know where he went. He kind of shut up now too. Unless he's just one little of trees back. He could be in one of these ones instead. I'm not seeing him. I'm definitely not hearing him. So I think what we're going to do. We're going to take our bundle of three chickens. And get the heck out of here. Off to the next one. Oh, well, I don't know how many of you guys uh, listen to the podcast that I put up here now. Uh, we put it out every second Monday. But uh, the one of the last ones I did there, uh, I believe it's number eight. I go into talking about hunting chickens. And a little bit of extra work that I do uh, to come back with uh, a few more than what normally people will get. But it's because I do stuff like what I just did there. Uh, you know, we had that truck come by. Every single chicken on the road flew off. And I still went in there. I shot three. If I had, would have had my eyes open. I bet you I could have easily got five. Uh, there was a couple that were basically <laughs> in the wide open and I was too busy looking up into trees instead of looking to see what was right in front of me. But uh, yeah, head over to our podcast and uh, give that a listen. Uh, we have a YouTube video up on that and then also it's up on all major platforms too. So uh, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon, Google Play. Ah, what else is there? Whatever. Anywhere that you guys get your uh, uh, anywhere that you guys get your podcast, you'll be able to find us on there. Just search up the Buick Outdoors podcast and give it a listen. Then there's uh, there might be one more up there over there.
I think there's two of them there. There's three. The other one went from this tree to this tree right in here somewhere. But as soon as he lied, he kind of disappeared. But maybe what we'll do is we'll grab this chicken, take care of him, and then we'll look for these other ones. I think there's still one over there. There's one right in here. That I think there's two back there. But those ones, they kind of they took off like crazy. I don't think they're going to be around. But what we'll do is we'll walk in here, see if we can't find at least one of those other ones. So if they if they went this way, most likely, I want to say they'll land kind of in these trees here, these trees right here, or they just kept going their way back there. Once they kind of flew in through this stuff here, I kind of lost track of them. Not so sure about the, these chickens. All right, you guys, so we had another nice day uh, out here hunting. We got four chickens in total. So that's pretty good for just a quick little evening drive. But now it's time to clean these chickens. Uh, basically what I do is I take my fingers Right where the breasts are i go up to that point i grab it here pull her down and it exposes that breast meat once you expose that breast there's that little v right here you see that little v i take my finger put my finger inside there take this finger grab it by its neck here give her a pull and there you go Here's all the guts and everything like that. I take these, give them a throw. Ravens, weasels, mink, all that good stuff. Martin, they'll eat it. Pull off the last little bit of feathers. And we have beautiful, clean chicken. Also, on the inside, there's the hearts. And, of course, I always feed them to the dogs. All right, you guys. So, we had another successful hunt. And now we're back into the kitchen. Uh, when we got home last night there, we knocked the wings off the bird, put the breast into a bowl of water, and now I have it all cubed up here. And I got some vegetables all diced up here too. Got some carrots, white onion, celery, chunky garlic paste. And we're gonna go ahead and make some chicken noodle soup. So to start this off, we're just gonna add a little bit of oil. Oop, a little much. That's all right. Add oil, and then we'll toss in our chicken. We'll just add a little bit of salt and some pepper. Now that we have our chicken in there, we'll brown it all up with this browned up. Then we'll move on to our celery and our onion. Alright, so now that we have our chicken nice and browned up. It's going to be time to add our celery and our onion. Now what we're going to do here is we're just going to cook these down for a little bit until the onions basically start to sweat and soften up a little bit then we'll add our carrots and our garlic paste let that kind of cook down for I don't know maybe five minutes or so and then we'll add in our chicken broth and then one thing I forgot to mention that we have is little elbows little chunks of macaroni that we're gonna throw in there try different noodles for once 
instead of regular old thick noodles there that you usually use. So we'll give uh, macaroni pieces a try. Alrighty, so we have our uh, onions and celery. They're starting to soften up now. So we're gonna add our carrots. And then once the carrots are in, we're just gonna cook these for uh, maybe four or five minutes kind of a thing. And then we'll add in some broth. Uh, oh, also we need our chunky garlic paste. Yeah, with this stuff we'll give her, I don't know, about that much I guess. Maybe a little more. There we go. I think one teaspoon of this stuff is the equivalent of one clove of garlic. And with me, I usually I usually cook with kind of three or four cloves, so I don't know, that seems to be all right. But uh, we'll get this all mixed in here, and then uh, let it kind of cook and simmer for a few minutes. We'll add our chicken broth, we'll add our noodles, and we are almost done. Alrighty, so we've been cooking on this now for a few minutes. So we're gonna add in our chicken broth. Two things of chicken broth. They don't look all that bad. Uh, and now for noodles. I don't really know how many we're gonna put in here, but uh, we'll give her the old Sheldon special and put in about that much. So you figure about that much, half a box or so. <laughs> we'll give her a mix here and we'll see. Now well, that looks about right, I guess. Well, maybe we'll add just a little bit more, just a just a touch more. There we go, so about three quarters of this box. We'll give her a stir, let her come up to boil. We'll boil it for six or seven minutes or so. Then we'll be ready to dish her up and uh, we'll be eating. Alrighty, so I kinda overdid the macaroni a little bit. Maybe only had about half a box of uh, three quarters. Now we're gonna be we're gonna be eating kind of chicken noodle stew now. See? <laughs> oh well, uh, one thing I added to off camera was I added, uh, I'd say about a teaspoon of curry powder to it. And it was just perfect little touch to it. But I'm gonna get this all dished up. And then we'll uh, take a bite. I'll let you know how she tastes. All right, so here she is in all of her glory there. More of a stew instead of a soup, but uh, we got Shelby here. She's gonna do a taste test once I start grabbing curry off the shelf. She kind of gave me some weird looks. Yeah, I wasn't so sure about the curry, but we'll see how it is. You're right, that is a nice little addition there. <laughs> That's pretty good, honey. Always trust the fat kid when he's in the kitchen. You usually can't go wrong. <laughs> but anyways, guys, hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. Leave us a comment or two. Subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you on the next one. You want a heart, buddy? What? You want that? Okay. You got to take your knife, my friend. There you go, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy.